So Android 15's beta 4 is now released. It's public beta, it's beta 4. And most likely the next month you will see the Android 15 stable update. This could be the last update or maybe like the last year we might get another beta update or maybe even another beta again after that. Because if you think about the last year, but this year I think so with the August security patch or the next month you might get the Android 15 stable update. This beta update is looking quite stable, but we will take a look at some of the changes which you have in the latest beta update. Unfortunately, we do not have any major visual changes. We still have some which we will talk about in this one. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's have a quick look at here. If you move on to the system settings, you will see device diagnostics. This is the new feature, new option available in the latest Android 15's Beta 4 where you have some options like component health. You can see the manual test and component status. So for example, if you take a look at the display test, you can see, click on continue, you will see some colors there. This will let you know, as you can see, good or bad which means you can test your device. The name suggests to you that this is diagnostic. We also have some touch test options available there. Rub your finger over the screen until the screen is entirely white. And this is the thing which you can test. For example, click on continue. As you can see the touch sensor test failed because I just put my finger off from the display once. Let me try to do it once again by clicking on continue touch test continue once again and you will see this is how what you can do as you can see if i am getting the screen white which means my display is working perfectly fine no issues no defects at all and yes this is available with the latest android 15 beta 4 i'm not exactly sure if it will come with the other oems or not but yes it's available so definitely i just wanted to let you know but this thing is quite good i mean you might be able to know if your device display has any kind of defects or anything as you can see the touch sensor test pass so yes no issues with the touch screen at all also you will see some status related to battery as you can see cycle count manufacturing date everything is here storage status is also present and a lot more things are present here including this we do not have any major changes unfortunately because it's it's looking similar to as compared to the previous one if you take a look at some of the changes which were introduced with the previous android 15 beta updates one of the major changes were the private space it's finally included with the google's latest android it was never there from a long time but we finally have so it's like a dual app kind of things or app cloning you can say not exactly like that but it's kind of similar most of these features are actually present in some OEMs like One UI, Xiaomi, Hyperways, MIUI, etc. But a stock Android, this is a very good thing that we have the private space option present. You also have some options to customize it, to configure some things like you can hide the private space and of course you can delete it too. Moving on to some of the things, some other things here, like the Pixel Launcher also have some changes, you know, with the latest Android 15 beta updates. Now you have the option for show long app names. So as you can see, display the long app names and the two lines in case the app name is long. And also the new wallpaper and style UI, which was introduced with the previous beta. I've shown you already. If you did not watch out that video yet, make sure to check it if you want to know more about the features and changes. As you can see, this is the preview and it it was changed with the previous beta update. The major update was Android 15's public beta 2 with where we have we got a lot of new features, the changes. Then with the beta 3, this thing was new which was introduced and uh, only a few of the things here and there. But with this beta 4, we do not have any major usual UI changes, basically visual changes. And that could be one of the possible reasons we might get the stable update next month. Also, this is the feature as you can see charging optimization all thanks to Mishal Rahman. He found this feature which is actually not integrated yet but in the string section and the system settings by work, working around with some code etc. This feature could be added with the next update also not sure or maybe with added with the QPR updates of Android 15 but not with Android 14. Else, you already know that because unfortunately, it's quite similar from past few updates. I mean, if you are into Android community from a long time, Android 12 was kind of similar. I mean, Android 12 was the change with the quick settings panel, of course, with the Monet theming, which was introduced. But then Android 13, 14, and even with 15, only some visual changes are not actually available there. Only few of the tweaks here and there. 
this could be i mean this could be user specific i mean if you you might love this thing you might not it's up to you but let me know in the comment box what are your thoughts on these kind of things this is all thanks for watching hope you like this